Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Kirsch One, and you are watching One Mind Syndicate. Today we continue taking on viewer requests, as somebody requested a lore video on the Black Ships. Uh, so let's get into 40 Facts About the Black Ships. The Black Ships are the dreaded starships that make up the fleet of the League of Black Ships, which form the recruiting divisions of the Adeptus Astrotelepathica of the Imperium of Man. Independent of the Imperial Navy, they are the second largest fleet in the galaxy. There are many thousands of black ships, but only the high-ranking adepts in the Adeptus Astrotelepathica know the true scale of the fleet and the vast scope of its operations. The Adeptus Astrotelepathica is an adept of the Adeptus Terra, responsible for the recruitment and training of psychers in their service of the Imperium of Man. The Adeptus Astrotelepathica trains the majority of Imperial Psychers, who become known as Sanctioned Psychers. The crews of the Black Ships come from both the Telepathica and the Inquisition. The captains and other senior officers of the Black Ships are senior adepts of the Adeptus Astrotelepathica. The ship's crews are indentured workers drafted from a number of Imperial worlds situated relatively close to Terra. The Astra Telepathica have an ancient contract with these worlds, ensuring a steady flow of suitable recruits in return for exceptions from Imperial tithes. All crew are rigorously tested and scrutinized for any latent psychic abilities or sensitivities and are regularly mind scrubbed to purge any taint or infection. Navigators of the fleet of the black ships are all members of the Grankius, Plotme, and McPharson navigator houses who work exclusively for the Astra Telepathica. Inquisitors, alone amongst Imperial officials, have secured rights for passage aboard the black ships and have the right to travel freely throughout the entire fleet. They also have the rights to oversee the identification, capture, and incarceration of particular rebellious psychers to whom they have a personal interest. Generally, few other Imperial agents are permitted aboard these dreaded vessels, but occasionally, Space Marines, Sisters of Battles, or high-ranking members of the Adeptus Terra may be accommodated at the captain's discretion. A black ship is a dreadful environment for psychers. Psychically sensitive crew spend most of their time in a shielded upper deck of the main bridge, as far removed from the containment holds as possible, so as to avoid an unpleasant effect of anti-psychic security measures in place. There are numerous devices and routines directed at the Great Holds to confuse and confound psychic abilities. Each ship has a troop of specially trained adepts whose sole function is to focus their own psychic energies into an occulting sphere. This strange metaphysical device broadcasts an evasive signal into the minds of nearly every psyker, severely disrupting their abilities to concentrate or reason, and therefore largely curtailing their ability to utilize their talents. In addition to this, oppressively loud noises are pumped into the holds as to disrupt any attempt at concentration or rest. The holds are dimly illuminated for the most part but frequently burst off strobing lights shattering the twilight. Food and drink for the captives is laced with sedatives. The captive population is regularly moved from one hold to another. All of this serves to keep the psyker in a helpless, confused, and compliant state. The most dangerous psychers, as identified by the inquisitorial scrutiny, are kept in separate isolation cells deep within the bowels of the containment holds. Adapts of the Telepathica test the psychers being transported, selecting those who are strong enough to shield themselves from possession by warp entities so that they can begin their training. The Inquisition's role is to scrutinize the tithes gathered from each world to make sure that there is no shortfall in the number of psychers given up, monitoring the psychers being transported in case they possess a threat while in transit, and though not their official duty, pick the best psychers for training and use by the Inquisition itself. Indeed, many Inquisitorial acolytes with psychic powers begin their careers as unwilling passengers on these black ships, where their talents were first recognized. The black ships themselves are dark places of despair, and they are little more than space-faring high-security prisons, and many of the psychers being transported know full well that they will meet a grim fate at their journey's end. 
Every day, dozens of black ships complete their epic journey and arrive on Terra, whereupon they discord their cargoes of human psychers. Each void ship can hold many thousands of psychers within their vast holds. So each and every day, tens of thousands of psychers are sent to the processing halls, graded and passed on through the Marad departments and institutions responsible for ensuring that the tithes is put on its allotted use. These rarely seen vessels usually operate only on inquisitorial business, but occasionally, when the interests of both the Inquisition and the Imperial Navy coincide, a black ship will join with an Imperial Navy battle group. It is a rare admiral who welcomes an Inquisitor to his council. These vessels are highly capable additions to an Imperial force. The black ships are described as a void that blacks out the light of the stars visible as they pass. The captains of black ships are often senior inquisitorial agents with a ship-based defense force of inquisitorial stormtroopers or sisters of battle. A well-known black ship is the Validus, a notable vessel that was operated by the Silent Sisterhood during the Great Crusade and early Horus Heresy era. The Validus became stranded within the warp. Further details regarding this vessel and its ultimate face remain classified even 10 millennia later. Another black ship is the Aria Gloris. This notable vessel was also operated by the Silent Sisterhood during the Great Crusade era of the late 38th millennium. Whereas conventional vessels of an Imperial Expeditionary Fleet ran with pennants and signal lamps to illuminate the length of their hulls, the Aria Gloris came in darkness, arriving out of the interstellar deep as an ocean predator might slip into the surface of a nighttime sea. It was difficult to make out anything more than the most basic details of this formidable warship as it blended with the void. Such is the secretive nature of their work. Few of the exploits of the black ships are known. However, the destruction of the black ship Ecclesiarch Nevsky, while destroying the Tyranid incursion on Horedia III, stands out. The Nevsky and her escorts managed to destroy three hive ships of the invasion fleet before succumbing. The destruction of the Hive vessels prevented any Tyranid reinforcement reaching the embattled planet and the Imperial Guard, coupled with a Death Watch kill team from the Nev Sky, helping with the extermination of the Tyranid Horde. The origin of the Black Ships can be found during the Great Crusade and the Horus Heresy era in the late 30th and early 31st millennia. During this time, the Adeptus Astra Telepathica possessed a military arm which was referred to internally with the records of the Adeptus Terra as the Departmental Investigates. They were known throughout the galaxy as the Sisters of Silence, the Silent Sisterhood, and the Witch Seekers. The Silent Sisterhood was an all-female imperial order of witch hunters dedicated to eliminating of psychic threats to the Imperium. Their primary base of operations was the Somnus Citadel on Luna, the Moon of Terra. Their purpose was to hunt and kill rogue human psychers whose activities presented a terrible danger to the people of the newborn Imperium of Man. The Sisters of Silence were well-trained warriors, and with the added benefit of their natural and innate anti-psyker abilities, they were dangerous opponents to any psychic enemies of mankind. Unlike other living beings, these women swore to silence, possessed no presence in the war, and were therefore unaffected by all forms of psychic power. There were many names for them in multitudes of human cultures to be found across the galaxy. Untouchables, pariahs, blanks, all of the members of their orders were non-psychic, for they bore the pariah gene, which made them immune to all forms of psychic assault and rendered their minds unreadable by telepathy. The sisters operated the Adeptus Astra Telepathica's infamous League of Black Ships, which ranged across the galaxy following behind the Great Crusade's expeditionary fleets in search for rogue psychers to capture or expunge, seeking to collect and carry them back to Terra, where they would be tested and their eventual fate decided. Though few in number, the Sisters of Silence commanded great respect within the Imperium, and most servants of the Emperor regarded them with some awe. Few would willingly stand in their way or interfere with their activities and a few, indeed, were those who were comfortable in their presence. 
The ultimate fate of the Sisters of Silence is not found in Imperial records, and no reference to their continued existence in the era of the 41st millennium exists. It is believed that they were either destroyed long ago, or were ultimately folded into the organization of the Imperial Inquisition, following the Horus Heresy, which now administers the League of Black Ships. And those were 40 facts about the black ships i hope you guys enjoyed this video now the very last part where we talked about the uh sisters of silence that might be a little change as far as what they're doing now in the imperium because the new codex that came out that has the um adeptus custodis there's there they also have the silence um, or the sisters of silence rule books uh, so the lore to them i have not read so it might be different than what we talked about right now um, but if that does happen, we'll correct that later on. Again, guys, if you guys have any uh, requests for other videos, please comment down below. Put suggestion followed by whatever um, topic of Warhammer 40k you guys would like us to create a video for. With that said, this was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out.